Earth Birth is a nonprofit focused on food, energy, and water. Uh, our mission is to educate and empower people to take food, energy, and water into their own hands. I started Earth to Birth in 2011 as a student at the University of Oklahoma, and so we're largely based in Norman, but we've done work all over Metro Oklahoma City. So we have three main programs, Garden Your Own Growth, Take H2 Ownership, and Homemade Sustainability, and we've done all kinds of community projects. A lot of different things that really focus on community engagement and exchanging the resources they have. Well, sustainability is something that's very important in Norman, Oklahoma, and so is healthy living and education, and I think what Earth Rebirth does is it brings those all together. I think Earth Rebirth is visionary for a variety of reasons, but one that I think really touches my heart as a community leader is the leadership it inspires in our young people. Most people definitely know us for the Garden Your Own Growth program where we set up our first school garden and then set the goal to get a garden at every school in Norman and have them either serve the cafeteria or raise money directly for the classroom. It's just a great resource, especially since when I started this garden, um, I was not a gardener. I had no idea. So it was Andrew and YouTube. And now just slowly, I look up and I'm, I know so much about gardening now that I, I had no knowledge of before. Andrew works really, really hard. He's, for such a young professional and entrepreneur, he's already made a lasting impact in the city of Norman and he's incredibly deserving of this award. I don't necessarily see myself as a visionary, I just see myself as somebody who really wants to help people help themselves. I mean, Andrew's vision is fantastic. If I call him and say, I would like to do one bed, he says, no, you need to do four and here's why. He gives me vision, so it's not just his vision. He inspires us to have these bigger dreams. I would never have dreamed of having eight beds. I thought I was going to have one tiny one. When teachers are underpaid and overwhelmed in Oklahoma, we wanted to come in and really make school gardening not only easier, but a bit easier to deal with the transition and the sustainability. As teachers need help or get overwhelmed during school, we try to have people come in and help with curriculum. Whatever we can do to help each school succeed, we try to be there for them. Making sure that our garden is something that if I leave teaching, it will still be here. It's sustainable. We've figured out ways to make this really easy for the next person who comes on board to be able to take it over. It's, it's a fun way to again connect with nature and to learn and, and get their hands dirty, literally. And I hope that every student in, a, in Norman has the chance to do that. And some may never have access to a garden, and so it's often their first time to really see the process and experience what that's like. With the help of Earth Rebirth and letting your students have some ownership of that research, really anyone can learn it. Really the only wrong way to garden is to not garden at all. Every time you garden you learn something new or something better and anybody can do it.